This is code.org. Let's take a look here. Reflect. An author is preparing to send their book to a publisher as an email attachment. The file on their computer is 1000 bytes. It's kind of a small book, but okay. When they attach the file to the email, it shows as 750 bytes. The author gets very upset because they're concerned that part of their book has been deleted by the email address. Okay. Um, if you could talk to this author, how would you explain what is happening to their book? Well, again, think about how we use the compression tool. We can even go back to it here. I will, in fact. So, ta-da, we're making a book. Seashell on the, I'm not going to try to say that, but this, let's pretend this is the author's beautiful book and they think they're going to sell a billion copies. That's great. They hit attach. And if we're using a compression technique, well, the computer is going to say, okay, what can I replace and then decode when I get there? Let's start with, I mean, I can already see seashore is used a lot. So, sure. And then remember, when it gets to the location, the computer will scan it again and say, oh yeah, sun is actually all of these characters. And that's, or seashore is all of these characters. And that's what's compressing it. That's what's saving us the space. Notice that C is used with seashells as well. So I might just do C as sun or even C space, right? Because there would be a space around C each time, maybe even a space at the beginning I could use it for. Now I can also do it for, I'm just going to copy and because you can use symbols also in your compression dictionary. Now I have C shore, right? And maybe I want to use the C also though with C the is here a few times. Yeah, that's there twice. So let's go ahead and use this. And then what about cell sun shells? Is that anywhere else? Cells sun shells with spaces. Yep. And so again, think of this as the author's book. Well, look, when this arrives uh, at the uh, computer, the targeted computer, it will have all of the content because it looks at the dictionary. It says sun sun oh this word's actually space c space so r space c space shells and it will decode using this dictionary to fill in these symbols yet we're saving spaces so when you're reading this right if an author has this book well what if they say in my opinion maybe maybe it's a nonfiction book nine nine times in the book well we could replace that with a compression technique Okay, so this is not an answer. I'm not going to actually detail an answer entirely. I'm going to put some bullet points of my thoughts on this and make sure you answer this in complete sentences. Keep in mind when you hit submit, you can't edit it and you don't want a bullet pointed answer. I just want to think through it with you. So repeated words slash letters can be changed or compressed to save data. Those data that is compressed come is changed back to the original version on arrival using a dictionary or a key method, right? And so the compression, and I misspelled something here, is helpful. It does save room, but it's not going to be entirely changing the book. Actually, the author might like it because what benefit does this have for the author? Well, the data the data being a smaller size would arrive faster. Now, just again, I'm just thinking through this with you, right? Because this one's, it, how could you talk to the author, explain what is happening? So you need to be telling the author this. You certainly don't want to be using my words because that would be plagiarism. But think about these important key concepts and think about how you could explain to the author what is going on. How can you calm them down? Cool. Onward.